Hey guys, welcome back. I thought I'd make this video about Call of Duty. Why I believe that a lot of Call of Duty players dislike and like certain versions of Call of Duty. Before I start this video, if you have an HDR TV, especially if you have a LG C9 series like I do, but I'm pretty sure you guys can use these settings for your TV. If you have an HDR TV, um, the settings for your HDR brightness in the in Call of Duty in the options, I recommend. And it obviously depends how you calibrate your TV and where your TV is setting in your house. But I found that from the HDR HDR brightness from 0.988 to 1.038 in that range is kind of where I recommend you guys set your settings but of course the lower the HDR brightness settings the brighter the HDR pops but at the same time as you lower down you want to be able to still see certain objects in the dark that's just for the HDR brightness for those who have an HDR TV this is how I optimize that alright now there's particularly about 18 Call of Duties made but we're gonna start with Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare before Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare there was the Call of Duty the original one Call of Duty Finest Hour and then Call of Duty 2 and then Call of Duty 2 the big red one and then Call of Duty 3 I played all of those and that was decent game back then but what was the game changer was Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare this is when the online player base started in my book this is when everyone start really gaming online um, there's no there's a lot of competition out there but Modern Warfare was hands down they had no they had no real competitors even though there was a lot of competitors that was the best thing out there and everything conformed to this gameplay and everything conformed to the the controller schemes of Modern Warfare so there's really no real complaint about Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare the next one after that they came out with Call of Duty World at War World at War was to me in my opinion was clunky but it was fun people didn't really like World at War as much only because they didn't like the guns. I, for one, didn't like the guns. I still have fun with World of War. The year after that, they came out with Modern Warfare 2. Modern Warfare 2 is just as good as the original, but had better kill streaks. It wasn't a perfect game, but it was a great game. There was not really any complaints about this one. The one after that, Black Ops, the original Black Ops, Call of Duty. This is also, there was no real complaints about this one. It was fun. It was beautiful. It was different. It was original. The year after that came Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Why people didn't like this as much is because it was stale to them. It was like a copy and paste from Modern Warfare 2. It was nothing new. Although, I enjoyed it. Now remember, folks, the consensus is the best Call of Duty is the newest Call of Duty. Just keep that in mind. Okay? So, Modern Warfare 3, even though I enjoyed it, the people didn't like it for that fact that it was stale, it was copy and paste. Call of Duty Black Ops 2 came out and they introduced the Diamond Camos. A lot of new kill streaks. It was original because you had a lot of camos you can work towards. Um, all around a great game. Of course, you guys know that. There's no real complaints about Black Ops 2. The year after that, Call of Duty Ghost came out 
and this is when the transition from a 360 to an Xbox One and a PS3 to a PS4. This game was rushed. That's why people didn't like it. And they had internal problems with the developers. Um, probably some lawsuits. But I enjoyed Ghost. Ghost was a great game to me. It was fun. But people didn't like Ghosts because they were still stuck on the Black Ops and the Modern Warfare. Then the year after this, this is when the real complaints start coming in. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Wow. People were so angry. They introduced the exosuits and they introduced the advanced movement. This, I did have fun with Advanced Warfare, but I would have to say it's my second least favorite. Um, but, you know, who? no one liked the advanced movements. So, that's when the real complaints start happening. Black Ops 3. Wow, Black Ops 3. I enjoyed it. I got my Dark Matter. But the, and um, the, but they made the advanced movement bearable. It was a lot more clean with the exosuits. But they added wall running, and I, people hated that. People hated wall running. Um, I got, I adapted, and still had fun with Black Ops. But you have to adapt. And then the year after that, Infinite Warfare. Not much difference. Um, it's just like the third year of the advanced movement cycle. People thought that game was stale. I had fun with that. I also got Dark Matter in Infinite Warfare. Um, I made it fun. I found it fun, but I understand that people, they hated the advanced movements and they hated the ball running. They hated the, the jumping and all that. I understand that. Totally understand that. So, this brings us to the whole, the whole, the whole problem here. The whole why the player base of Call of Duty was is always angry and and always want to be pleased. So they decided, hey, let's make the next Call of Duty boots on the ground because that's what the fans want. And they came out with Call of Duty World War Two, and it's it's they went really back to the roots. I mean, they went back to the World War Two genre. Um, it was boots on the ground. This, by the way, it's my opinion is my least favorite. The graphic was good. It was fun, but I barely played it because there were so many problems with this game that I personally didn't like. On top of that, a lot of people don't. A lot of the World War II genre, Call of Duty original players, by now, because of all the advanced movements, they have, most of them, moved down to a different type of game. So a lot of the original Call of Duty players that could not adapt, they pretty much left already, and that's why a lot of people did not like Call of Duty World War II. Then the year after that, they came up with Black Ops 4, which is uh, also boots on the ground. <laughs> the problem with this, I had fun, I had Black Matter in this game. But guess what? It was boots on the ground, but people didn't like it because of the specialist powers. I adapted to the specialist power. I had fun with the specialist power. Although, when they came out with Zero later on, the seasons, it ruined it for me. I had fun, but it was just not as fun. When you have a a specialist that can take over your kill streak. Now, if they were to make zero, where uh, from your sentry on down, she can hack that. But but they made it where she can hack your sentry and and above, like your gunship and everything, and destroy your uh, like your your kill streaks. I I just that just ruined it for me. So that's the complaints about Black Ops 4. As fun it was, as beautiful as it is, um, people didn't like 
people didn't like specialists, but it was boots on the ground. So, so so far, besides the original uh, Call of Duty Four: Modern Warfare and the original Call of Duty Black Ops, there was all these complaints. Now we have come to 2019 Call of Duty: Modern Warfare. No real complaints here. I understand that people don't like battle passes, but that's optional. Remember that. And isn't this what fans are screaming for? It's got to be the best Call of Duty thus far, if not the best ever. Me personally, I love this Modern Warfare 2019. You got mini game modes. There's no advanced movement. There's no specialist powers like Black Ops 4. It's boots on the ground, great graphics, and you get kill streaks like Modern 2 and Modern 3. They brought back original maps. It's not the exact same as the original, but you had you have to compromise. You know, they added doors, but you know what? It's I believe it's better. Cannot be exact same. It's gotta have a little spice. Also, people didn't like Modern Warfare 2019. Because that silence was not a perk. When you moved around, it was loud. You had loud movements. But it's got the game's got to be balanced, you know. So it's got. So, uh, in my opinion, Modern Warfare 2019, they did go back to their roots. As far as the Modern Warfare genre, they brought back the boots on the ground. They brought all the guns, the customizations, your maps are big, some are small, they brought back old maps, they brought back kill streaks. Cause remember the for me, like the original Modern Warfare maps, they were beautiful. They were fun. Um and then you got game modes that is like ground war. That's amazing. If we never played that. Uh, you had the option of playing Warzone, you have the option of playing all these game modes that Modern Warfare 2019 uh, brings. And on top of that, it has great graphics and has a lot of customization. Um, I'm not just a fanboy, but because, I mean, how can they please Call of Duty players more than this? Me personally, I'm very pleased and I could retire in this version. So, that's kind of like my quick breakdown of why Call of Duty player dislike and like certain Call of Duties and but they should love this Call of Duty because it's me in my opinion one over her 2019 is the best Call of Duty made and this is just what I wanted I just wanted developers to know thank you for giving us this this is exactly what I wanted thanks for tuning in guys you guys have a great one put it dragons out